Hey again, let's be talk in this video about checkbox and radio button. So, so let's get started. I will use here the terminal because make it easy for me to show you the details. So to get started, I say, hey, from uh, TK enter import, import starts. Then I say, hey, from TK enter import TTK because I'm going to use it. Then I need to use the root to call TK. So this is my root, so empty screen. So first of all, let me add checkbox. Like the, the checkbox is checking if someone's married or not. So I would name it check button CV or call TTK dot checkbox in this way. I say, hey, check button. Make sure write it in same way. Otherwise it will not work. I, will, I, I want to add it to the root. Then I want to give it any text. So let me give it text equal uh, is married. Okay. And yes, here is it. I, to add it, I see cb dot back. So he will add the checkbox in the screen. See, here is the checkbox. It is when it's off, when it's on. So F on, off on. Now I want to read the value from this checkbox. There is too many ways to read the value, either reading the state, that that we discussed before or doing specific command like he call command call it in a specific event or whatever there is also another way that added by tk enter using something name it string uh, string var or boolean var is depend on that correct the data type that you want to read it the idea of these type of classes it allow to track the object and whenever the the the, uh, the value of that object get updated, he will read it. That's mean if, if someone uh, add a checkbox here and this one connected to some type of variable name, a string var, any place that using that string var, it will, the value will be updated inside that place. So let me just show you what we mean by string var. So it's, uh, let, us, let me define this one's name it state or call string in this way var. Make sure defined in this way. So this means I want to set it value state. I say dot uh, set. I want to set it. I say yes. Okay, you could give it anything, but let me give it yes. Now if I want to read it, I say hey state dot get. That should return for me the yes. So this type of variable when defined as a string var or boolean var or another for type, they are for type. So this type of variable you could track the value in any place so you have to use this type of variable if you want to use checkbox or, or ratio button now what i want to do i want to make this variable connected with this value so whenever check it this variable is updated whenever and check it this variable will be updated how i do that really really easy i have checkbox so i say cb i need to config i say config what I want to do, I, I need to send the v variable, if I say same, var, i, a, b, l, e, I want to connect it with this variable, name it the state, so I need, hey, this checkbox, I need it to connect with this variable, and I want you, when someone select it, let me, I mean, on value, that means someone is check it, give it a, a yes, or whatever, yes, merit, give it this string or on of value give it no is not okay that's me if someone uh, hey I just wrote it here incorrect config so con should be fig this way con fig so that's mean hey if someone select the checkbox first of all connect the checkbox with this variable so the value of the checkbox will be connected with this variable so when the checkbox is true you will add in the variable yes is married when the checkbox is false you will add in the variable no is not so if i just enter saying so i say hey this is not checked now let if i just say state dot get he will say yes why yes? Because by default yes, it's not set it yet. He's just using the default value that already been set it. Now if I just click this one, then I just rerun it. He say, see, he show you yes is merit. Now if you just remove it, call sign function, no is not. So 
do you see by default if he did not do anything he will take the default value which is yes but if you just check it he will take yes method if he uncheck it he say no it's not method so this is good i good way to if you, if you want to use checkbox for different thing and how you read it just you connect it you set the on and off and you all set there is also another type of tk enter you could use them like ratio radio button the difference between radio button and checkbox the radio button you could select the value so let me define this one radio button one i name it ttk dot radio in this way radio button here you go radio button i want to add in the root i want to give it text let me suppose uh give it hey this is text mail i give it text mail also I want to connect it with a variable now I don't have any variable right now so I have to make sure just delete this one and I define my variable for radio button so let me name it uh, radio button var in this way equal string var okay because I don't have it now let me just start it so I need to connect it with the variable name it I say hey variable equal rb var that's mean hey this radio button will connect the variable name it rb var have text value mail you could give it more the text like when it's selected give it value mm, mail is mail that's mean hey when so this what the what this mean that mean hey add radio button give it text mail and uh, make it connect with this variable if someone check it make the value of that variable is mail just click enter hopefully rb dot rb1 dot day there you go now if if it's not if i just check it make sure first i'll check it now if i say i want to get the value that is here i say hey rb dot get give me the value you say is mail see now i cannot uncheck it because i have only one so to do uncheck it i have to have two or three so let me just add another one let me change something from starting to ending so first of all i give it id number two radio button added in the root i give it text female and variable connect with the same variable i give it value is female okay hopefully i just write it female then rb2.pay and done so now what i have in the value on this variable just make sure have it is mail because you select the mail now if i just selected this one reprint the value you say is female because i'm selecting the female so this is a very basic idea but if you see in checkbox you could select more than one checkbox if you have them in the screen but a radio button you could select one so what if i have another checkbox let me suppose there is no other type maybe there is another type but this suppose there is another type and which is a three and you want to give it text uh, female two whatever you want to make it connect with the same variable and you give it same value what will happen if i say rb three dot pay okay see what will happen now i have female too if i just select the male he will select male if i select female he will select both of them why because both of them have same value so whenever you select anyone he will select both of them so if you give them same value he will select both of them so this is basic idea how you work, you work with checkbox how you work with the ratio button so let me just show you the last thing if i just have another radio button i said uh, checkbox to just you could understand what I'm saying hey wait hopefully checkbox adding another checkbox to and uh, give it to the root is whatever is passed then say cb2 dot peg I just want to show you the difference between up oh yes I say cv it should be cb here you go so the difference between checkbox and ratio button is this checkbox you could select and selected you could select both of them that's okay radio button you could select only one of them you cannot select more than one this is the difference
So hopefully you now understand. You now understand how you do checkbox, how you just connect with the variable. And yes, here we done. And thank you for watching.